Uh, just a quick video. This is what I work out of. I think I could actually almost get a car in here now. Uh, wife made me clean it yesterday. She helped. We took everything out. I had just a Harbor Freight air compressor, little tiny one. With me doing sandblasting, we upgraded. I actually got where I can get to my workbench. Those motors down there, I'm going to strip them down, take the aluminum and melt it. That's all my scrap steel. Generator for welding. My propane for my little foundry. I'm going to be building a bigger one. I actually got the lid on my toolbox closed. First time since I bought it. Uh, just mainly we cut the corner off that shelf so we could slide it down, slide this one, and opened up a whole lot of room in here. So I can actually do something, and I'm not going to be, oh, where'd this part go, where'd this? Because once this generator goes under there, I'll have that whole workbench I can use. Uh, got my little pan brake, my little drill press, I got to do some work to that. My bench grinder, I'm going to build a pedestal for. I got a rim up there, so I'm just going to put a post and mount that to that. And all my garbage uh, that we, we're cleaning out of here. So I actually got a shop to work in again. Nothing fancy, but this is how I do all my repairs. You don't need a ton of high-tech tools. Yeah, I have a cherry picker, but I do pull motors. Uh, I got a 7.3 diesel right now on a little homemade stand. And, you know, that I'm doing, uh, that's for when I do the bearings. Also, I'm going to do, when I flip the hubs on my 5-ton, I'll use that. And, you know, it's, you just don't need, I got some spe stuff I got for specific reasons. If you're just doing it at home to work on your car, you don't need a lot of this, you know. I just do it because I work on... I do more than auto repair. Uh, I did the gun target. Uh, I bought this, and I'm going to build the bigger one, but I needed this quick. Because a uh, project I took on, uh, I'll, I'll video that as it progresses. And But like I say, you don't need a lot of the stuff in here if you're just going to do your home auto, but... You know, just basic hand tools. With this whole thing, chest here, I could probably rebuild the motor with only needing uh, one or two specialty tools. You know, you just don't need a ton of stuff to do work on your car. I could rebuild the trans with what's in there. Um, you know, just, but you could get away with, I do have my little box up here this is gonna move we just set it here for now but I, that's my with that box right there that was when mac had those years ago he got sockets wrenches allen wrenches uh pliers screwdrivers bare minimum but you could do every almost everything you want on with that box up there on your car with the exception i always recommend getting a good test light you might have some electrical tools, you know. Ohm meter is a good one to have because you can diagnose a lot of... The biggest thing is if you have just a test light and an ohm meter, you would be surprised how much diagnostics you could do on a vehicle. So, all right, that's it. Just showing uh, now that I got shop cleaned up, just quick walk around what I work with.